Hi everybody, welcome back. So this time we'll be talking about the Carnot refrigerator and the heat pump. So just like with the Carnot heat engine, a Carnot refrigerator heat pump is the most efficient one you can have possible. Now, while with a heat engine, it's not always like super clear here because even a perfect Carnot heat engine can't have 100% efficiency. But with coefficient performance, you don't have that issue because well, there is no max coefficient performance. If we plug in this equation, I'll just get a number, and that number is going to hopefully be more than one. If it's one, you're, you're not doing a very good job. But hopefully it'll be more than that, because we'll be moving more energy than it takes to just you know, put into the system. So look over here on the left, or on the right. If I have a perfect reversible refrigerator, what that means is that for my set environment in the cold and the warm spaces, I can determine what my max coefficient performance will be, and that is for a reversible system, that is for the Carnot system. And so in this case, that would be a max would be 11. And so if you are less than 11, you are a realistic refrigerator, okay? So if I have seven, great, that's still real. That's actually saying that you know, I've created something that is physically possible. If you've got something that's more than 11, You've either broken the laws of physics, and 10 out of 10 to you, go take that Nobel Prize. Or, more likely, you made a mistake in your math. Now, this is only when I have the same cold space and the same hot space. If I change those values, the numbers change. Because look at, look at these equations. Just like with a heat engine, we can replace all of our heats now with absolute temperatures. And so you see this ratio right here. It's inverted, but it's the same ratio for both of those. One for a refrigerator, one for a heat pump. And what we find from that is that the closer this guy goes to one, okay, so as that guy approaches one, limit as that, I'll just call it ratio, goes to one, well, what does this value go to? This guy will go to infinity. Can you have a coefficient performance of infinity? I mean, sort of. Like if you take your refrigerator, you know, just take your fridge, you open it and you unplug it, guess what? It's not using any energy, but it's also not moving any energy. It's kind of pointless, but according to our equation right now, it would have a coefficient of performance of infinity. Just unplug it from the wall. Now, that's not realistic. And also, when I'm cooling things, I'm not usually cooling them by tiny, tiny amounts. I'm trying to cool them significantly from my environment. So yes, the limit of that coefficient performance is technically infinity. We're not going to go that far. But either way, the closer this goes to 1, Okay, the closer it goes to one, the better my coefficient of performance can be. Okay, so if you're only trying to cool something a small amount compared to its environment, you can have a very efficient system. For example, if I take a fridge and I stick it out into you know a bunch of snow, here's my snow drifts, out on the icy tundra. Guess what? That fridge is going to have an easy time in maintaining the temperature. It's not going to have to work that hard because the temperature on the inside and the temperature on the outside is pretty much the same. Like it doesn't have to work anymore. And so it's a very, very efficient system. The further we go from the same temperature though, so like here I'm difference of 25 Kelvin, the further I go away from that, the lower my max coefficient performance can be. And we can never ever have better performance than this um, reversible heat engine. So this guy's our limit. If we go past it, you broke the laws of physics or you did your math wrong. And in this course, I'm sorry to say you probably did your math wrong. And of course, I already answered these questions. Okay, let's just go ahead and review this one more time. So an irreversible refrigerator always has a smaller coefficient performance than a reversible one. And an impossible refrigerator has one that is greater than it. So we won't see any impossible ones. That's just a way of checking yourself. It should always be less than the Carnot refrigerator, okay? Always be less from the Carnot refrigerator. So that's it for this time. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you all in just a bit. Bye-bye.